Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have the best ground types for raids in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet updated from when Pokemon Home was added to the game. Now last time we had Garchomp as the best physical attacker. He was holding the Metronome, we had Earthquake, Dragon Claw, Sword Stance and Bulldoze, Rough Skin, EVs in HP and Attack. We had the Adamant Nature, it was a very strong Pokemon. He has been replaced. The special attacker we had Sandy Shocks, Ground Type Terror, Metronome, Earth Power Discharge, Gravity Metal Sound. We had the Modest Nature for Photosynthesis, EVs in HP and Special Attack. And he's been replaced as well. We have a brand new Pokemon on both physical and special attackers that are going to be better than these two Pokemon. And we're going to get into them right now. Before we do though, if you do like this content, make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. It shows me that you like the videos we're putting out and join the Discord if you want. It's a lot of fun over there, link in the description. So coming in as the new best physical attacker, you probably saw this coming. It's going to be Groudon. He's an amazing Pokemon, so strong. Ground type terror, of course. We're going to be using the Shell Bell. We're going to be using Earthquake, Sword Dance, Hammer Arm and Precipice Blades. We're going to be using the ability Drought. It's the only ability he has. It brings in sunlight when we enter the battle for five turns. And a good thing is if we're against a water type, this will half the damage of the water types for those five turns, which we are weak to. Now EVs are going into HP and attack. Look at that attack. It's absolutely massive. 150 base attack. You're going to want the adamant nature to up that attack even more. You're going to want max IVs in everything except special attack. And we're going to do two raids for the physical attacker now and then two for the special attacker just to show you how good this Pokemon is and the next one. But let's get into the first raid for Groudon. We're just going to do the first raids we run into and for the first one for Groudon we're going to be doing a 6 star electric type Amoongus. This could be quite tricky, we're going to see how it goes, let's begin. He's huge! First things first, we're going to use Sars Land, raise that attack by two stages. It might be a bit difficult because he does have foul play here. Yeah, he's going to use it. Is he going to do a lot of damage? It's going to do about half our health and damage. We're going to start to use Earthquake here. It's going to do a decent amount of damage considering we only use Sars Lance once, but we can use it anymore because of the foul play he uses foul play again so we're going to use earthquake again do even more damage if we can get our terror before he puts us to sleep that'd be amazing he uses foul play again and then his shield goes up i didn't expect his shield to go up so early i thought we'd get another attack away there that's unfortunate the grassy terrain comes out now so he might switch to giga drain who knows wait is it giga drain that he has or is it no no i think it's energy ball so we're going to use another earthquake to do a tiny bit of damage it's not going to do too much of course because his shield is up and we're not terrestrialized and then he He's going to use Spore. Now, he probably hits us with a foul play here. We're going to heal up. Hopefully, we go back to full health. We do go back to full health and we wake up. That is amazing. So the Amoongus has switched to Energy Ball. Let's see how much damage that does. It's going to do a tiny bit more than Foul Play was doing because of the grassy terrain. We're going to Terrestrialize here and use Earthquake, hopefully doing over half of the shielding damage. And hopefully he attacks again because we don't want to be getting put to sleep too much. If we get put to sleep after the shield has gone down, that's fine. But I just want to get this shield gone before we go down now that we've Terrestrialized. So there goes the Earthquake. How much is it doing? It's not doing that much. He's going to hit us with a very powerful energy ball here we may have to switch to precipice blades here it's a stronger move so we use that it should do a bit more damage it does it nearly takes out the shield hopefully we get enough health back here to survive a giga drain not a giga drain energy ball he uses foul play because he thinks that'll take us out and then he nullifies so that was a risk because we do have 85 accuracy on that move so we're gonna have to use earthquake here if it misses then that'd be big trouble for us when we come back because we're gonna get taken out here but we do do enough damage to hopefully break that shield when one of the ai attacks but they're all asleep that's unfortunate does this foul play kill us no it doesn't so we can actually use another earthquake here to knock off that shield back to 162 health if he use foul play again then we survive again i think he uses energy ball but the actual grassy terrain is gone but it's still going to finish us off unfortunately and we're back to our square one not terrestrialized but we should be fine so the grassy terrain does come back out because he's low on health i'm going to use precipice blades here why not i thought we missed then that would have been bad uh, so we're going to hit it and it nearly takes out the Amoongus and then we're going to use an Earthquake. That will finish the job. Now, as you know, Amoongus is a very strong Pokemon, especially if you don't have any counters for that sleep. Earthquake didn't actually take it out, but it doesn't really matter because we attack first and we can just finish it off, even though the AI finished it off for us. But yeah, as you know, this Mushroom is a really annoying Pokemon to fight and we took it out even though we had no counter to its sleep. That's how you know Groudon's a very strong Pokemon. Now let's move on to the second raid. So for our second raid, we have a six star Poison type Heracross. So let's get straight into it. So to start off, we're gonna use Sars Dance, raise that attack by two stages. 
we get hit with a close combat, but we are very bulky, so it doesn't do too much. We're going to use Sword Stance again. Let's see if we can go for the one shot here. We're going to go for a third Sword Stance. Now that we're on max attack, we can attack next turn and hopefully get a one shot. So we're going to use Precipice Blade here because it's our most powerful move. It's going to hit. Oh no, it's not going to hit. I was like, why is it not doing that much damage? But we do miss because it is 85 accuracy. It was one of our teammates that got all the damage. Let's hope we can get one away before he does anything. There we go. And it takes out the Heracraft in one shot. Amazing. I guess let's move on to the special attacker. So for our special attacker, we have Landorus. We just have the normal version because it's going to be the special attacker. Of course, we're going to be using the ground type terror. We're going to be holding the life orb which boosts that attack by 30%. We're going to be using the Modest Nature, which is up in Special Attack, down in Physical Attack, because we are going to be the Special Attacker. EVs in HP and Special Attack for damage and survivability, max IVs and everything except attack. You're going to want the ability Shear Force. This is very important here. So we get 30% damage on all moves that have additional effects. So Earth Power is one of them. So we get 30% increase in damage off that. And it actually takes away the added effect from Life Orb. So you do the 30% extra damage from Life Orb as well, but you don't get the health penalty that you would normally get so that's awesome moves are going to be earth power nasty plot calm mind and taunt the reason we have calm mind and nasty plot is because if we're against a special attacker that hit, hits hard say they're an ice type pokemon which we are very weak to then we can use calm mind to increase that special defense and it also increases our special attack as well and then we can use nasty plot or we can just use two calm minds and then go into the earth power and taunt is just there to stop all the annoying moves now let's get into the first raid so the first raid is going to be a steel type and it's going to be a six star Mabo stiff. Let's get straight into it. So we're going to use nasty plot first turn to raise that special attack by two stages. We are going to get crunched. Hopefully it don't lower our defense. It does lower our defense. We're going to go straight into the earth power and do some damage. There's the first one. As you can see, it's doing a ton of damage because we get a 60% increase because of our ability mixed with the item. And as you saw, we didn't get the life orb damage to ourselves. He does steal our terror charge though, which is a bit annoying. We're going to use earth power again. It's going to do a lot of damage again, already down to below half of his health. And then the shield goes up. We're going to use earth power here again, even though his shield is up. It did a decent amount of damage considering we're only plus two. We go down to 39 health after his attack because he got that defense drop earlier on. We do get our fourth attack off though, and we can terrestrialize when we come back. He's going to finish us off here with an outrage. That's completely fine. We do so much damage that going down once means nothing really. So we're going to terrestrialize here and use nasty plot. So we have terrestrialize and use nasty plot to raise our special attack by two stages. And we're ready next turn to do a lot of damage. Hopefully break that shield. We're going to hit him with an earth power here. See how much damage it does. So it's done a lot of damage. It's going to break the shield. There's the shield breaking. He's going to nullify instantly. He actually nullified like two turns ago, so that was quite an unusual nullify, but we're completely fine. We're just going to use Earth Power and finish the job this turn, hopefully. So there's the Earth Power and there's the Mabba Stiff going down. Amazing. We went down and we still had half the time remaining. And he goes down. Very strong Pokemon, guys. Highly recommend using it if you have access to it. Now let's move on to the second raid. Here we have someone that might be a bit challenging because I hate uh, raiding against Gardevoir. It's really strong with its Calm Mind. It's going to be a six-star Rock Tight Gardevoir. Let's see how it goes. So we're going to start off with a Taunt because I don't want her setting up with Calm Minds. And she does get paralyzed by the umbreon that's awesome she tries using calm mind like a thought next up we're going to use nasty plot i did think about going with calm minds of my own but seeing as though it's paralyzed i want that uh, to stay that way so we're just going to get into the fighting as soon as we can we're going to use earth power here it's going to do a lot of damage as you can see we're going to get hit with a moon blast this shouldn't do too much it is a critical hit and it does less than half it tries using calm mind again but can't we're going to hit it with a second earth power should do a decent amount of damage Gardevoir is now on half health, just over. It uses Moonblast again, and then the shield goes up. And then it's going to use Misty Terrain, so now it's going to get even more power from them Moonblasts. So we're going to use Earth Power here. The good thing about Landorus is you, it doesn't really matter if you go down with him, but you want to make sure you get terrestrialized before you do go down. So Misty Terrain is up. Calm Mind can now be used. We're in a bit of a hit or miss situation here. We can taunt her. We're just going to terrestrialize and use Nasty Plat and hope that we can actually take down the shield before it takes down us. So there's the nasty plot. Now we're on plus two special attack. We get hit with a moon blast. How much is this going to do? It's a critical hit and it does just over half. That's a good sign. But I can't believe she got another critical hit. This is crazy. So we're going to use earth power here. Hopefully it does over half. Yeah, it does. It nearly takes out the shield. Hopefully we don't get nullified here. We do get nullified. I shouldn't have said anything. And psychic terrain goes up. So now moon blast won't be doing as much damage. And she uses calm mind. 
So we need to take down the shield right now. Like it's going to be doing a lot of damage. We're going to be doing less damage because of the calm mind. But let's see how much it does. Hopefully it breaks that shield. It nearly breaks the shield. The AI should be able to get one little hit on him. So the shield does break because the Tauros and Staraptor attacked. We're going to use Earth Power here. We're not going to set up again. There's no point. So we use Earth Power. It's not doing too much. So plot twist. We are going to use calm mind actually to increase our special attack and special defense just so she can take us out here the gadavar's paralyzed that's awesome so it looks like that car mine didn't actually matter after all and we can just use earth power nearly takes her out she's going to use psychic it's going to do a lot of damage this but the reason we use car mind is if the gadavar managed to get an attack away and uh, it would have done a lot of damage to us. I didn't want to risk it. We take down the guard of what, after all, very difficult Pokemon to take out. So you know that Landorus is an amazing Pokemon. <laughs> oh, we get some bit Herba Mystica as well. Awesome. Hopefully you can get your hands on these Pokemon as well. They are very strong and they will make life easier for you. And if you want to check out the best poison types for raids on the game, then I'll put it on screen right now. If you've enjoyed the video, smash the like button and I'll catch you on the next one.